So um, I just want to talk to you about the, the fillings for the, for the chair because um, I need to prepare any hair I want to put in here if it's old and I want to wash it. So what actually came out of this was, uh, was something very similar to this which is seaweed and often in the Victorian iron baths in particular you find seaweed in the back and you can still find this now. Um, so I don't know quite why they use seaweed, but it was it was quite a common filling for ch on the cheaper scale of chairs. The more expensive ones would have had hair in the back as well as um, in the seat, but um, the cheaper ones had that. Now I have got a bit of hair that came out of this chair. This came out of the seat, so but it is very dusty. So when I pull it apart, you can sort of see it looks almost like smoke coming out of it. So I'm going to wash it in the washing machine and reuse it. It's always worth reusing hair. This isn't the best quality hair. It's got, it's got quite short strands. It's probably got a bit of hog's hair mixed in with it. But, um, but it's better than using um, fibre and it's always worth reusing it because it's... It's nicer, it's nicer to work with and it's more traditional. So I'm going to pull out the bits of the, um, the twine that are mixed in with it and pull it apart a little bit so it's always worth pulling apart before you wash. And then it's put into a pillowcase like this. Here's an old pillowcase. So pull it, pull it apart a bit so you've got rid of some of the dust before you start. Put it in the pillowcase. Don't fill it up too full. So this amount of hair I'll do in two in two batches. I won't get it all into one pillowcase. In it goes. And a little bit more. It's a bit of a dusty job, but it's worth doing. It saves you a lot of money because new hair is expensive. So just a little bit more here. Now this, once this is filled to this extent, I've done about half here. I'm going to sew this together on the, on the sewing machine. It needs to be really quite tightly sewn together. So that'll be machined across there. Then it goes in the washing machine. I usually put it on a wool wash um, and then give it an extra spin afterwards and I do put fabric conditioner in it because it makes it easier to tease out. Then the other thing that you have to do is as soon as it comes out of the washing machine when it's still damp is tease it right out again. Don't wait for it to dry before you tease it because then it becomes much more difficult to do. And definitely don't just dry it in the pillowcase in an airing cupboard because it will go into hard balls and then it will be quite hard work to pull it all out and tease it. So. Put it on a piece of, take it out of the washing machine, put it on a piece of plastic, tease it out while it's damp and it'll dry very quickly if you spread it out. Right, so I've got my um, hair that's been washed in the pillowcase. It's say it's been on a, a wool wash, it's had an extra spin and um, it's got plenty of fabric condition in it. So what you can't tell by the picture is that it actually smells very nice. So what I'm going to do now is just take out, undo the stitching that I put in on the pillowcase and take it out. And this, this hair wasn't that dirty so it should be coming out quite nicely. Um, take it out of the bag and it's, it's, um, it's, well, it's not soaking wet because it's had the extra spin but it's... Um, it's, uh, it's damp, so I can just pull it apart while it's damp and it will just spread out on the, on the plastic sheeting and it'll, it'll dry over, overnight really, it'll be dry. So we just pull it out like that and it pulls out quite nicely and it's nice and clean, it's got rid of all the dust that's in it. So you can keep tweaking a little bit but that should probably be okay and after a bit if you want to dry it want it to dry quickly you can just uh, give it a turn over and give it another pull out 
and it'll be nice to use. So I've also got here some, some other hair. It's actually come out of a out of a hair cushion. Now this is this is actually better quality hair. It's the strands in it are longer. So there's a really long strand there. That's a very long strand in fact. I don't know if we can see it on the video, but it's quite springy. So there's some um, variety of hair. This is also dirtier, so there's more dirt coming out of it when I pull it apart like that. It's quite dusty. Sometimes it's worth doing this outside or putting a mask on even if it's uh, if it's even dustier than this. So I'm going to wash this as well. This is somebody gave me a, a hair cushion and there's quite a lot of hair in it. So you're looking probably at about um, 20 to 30 pounds in money to buy this amount of hair. So it is worth washing it. Uh, and it'll come out and it'll spread out on the table like that and be used again. Always quite exciting for us upholsterers when we get some good quality hair like this so that we can reuse. <laughs> 